So as you know, my husband, the old B, had a fascination of UFOs. So he's asking me about any UFO stories around the village as I as around. They have seen strange things falling from the sky. And you know how superstitious are the Filipinos. They will be saying to you that's the devil's stone. You know like they said there's once a stone that fell off and it's just burning all the fields and burning their crops. What it signifies? Bad luck, bad omen. So it's called the devil's stone. They'll never think about it as meteorites. You know how superstitious the old people are there, especially the farmers. Something fall on their farms, burn their crops that they're about to harvest. Bad luck. So it's a devil's stone. So I said, where is that devil's stone? Oh, we had to bury that because anyone that's going to touch that one will have bad luck. And even Farmer Willie. You know, I've shown you his place up in the um, hills. You know, surrounded by all the mountains. No electricity, very far away. Walk three kilometers before you reach his place going up. And I asked him, do you see any strange sightings in here? Then he told me once, because there's no electric. At, like in the middle of the night or a dawn time, they can't, they're just waiting. There's no sun because their time is like the sunrise. They can tell what time it is. Like sunrise about 5, 5 30, 6 o'clock. So it's before sunrise, and there's a strange object crossing over the field where he's farming. Like flickering lights it can't be an airplane because it's too low and why dawn time and you know it can't be just a um, drone who will have a drone there bringing fire like it's lit up across the field when it's three kilometers from the a rural road and all of them there are mostly farmers owning a drone it's not the last thing that you will they will ever think about buying never e even think about buying so you see it's something unusual strange and bizarre crossing over the field lit up the whole field so they get out and then it's just this strange um, object crossing over and disappeared to the next mountain where he is and as a young girl I could remember my mother telling me you know my mother lives in Bantayan Island of Cebu and her house with his uh, father and mother my grandparents that is near the beach so they were this is before the war and they saw a round object crashing through the coconuts behind their house and it burns the coconut and they went on and see it and it's like a silver object like but it's still burning for a few hours so they just don't mind it and that was before the war and then my mother said it's just metals that's left there and so what the locals did because the metals are all like ripped apart they take it off and line it in their boats because they cannot nail it it's quite a hard metal but it's good for lining your boat making it waterproof for sailing and that's it that's nothing happened to it but thinking about it now can when my mother heard about ufo it must be a ufo because that was before the war and it's a round silver object now as big that's only a small one, you know, like the basin where you use for washing the clothes. Just that size, the big one. The XL that you can buy, not the fish fish one, but the for washing. And it's thin metal. And it's just broken into pieces. And since it's on fire, they have not immediately go on and see it. Uh, they have let the fire down first before they want to see what, what's in there. And all they can see is metals. That's all. So you can see how fascinated that will be, fascinating that will be for old B. 
and I told him about it and he said it must be like the Roswell and so I told him if it's a Roswell then it must be a rubber balloon then so that is what I'm so that's all about the UFO so I will be asking some of the when I have to I can travel s soon I'll be asking some of the locals especially in remote areas what are the strange thing that you have noticed around here since it's very remote and like you know like farmer Willie's praise I will interview interview him soon we we're just so busy in the building where we've got no time to chat about those things but that's old beast fascination for UFOs.